Hi, this story is called Where the Wild Things Are and it's written uh, by Morris Sendak and it's one of my favourites and it reminded me a little bit of the naughty bus being a bit cheeky this week. Shall we read it? Here we go. Where the wild things are. Look at those. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Oh my goodness, that looks a great den. I wonder if his mum knows he's putting nails in the wall. And another. Oh, look, he's chasing his dog. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I will eat you all up. So Max was sent to bed without eating anything. Looks a bit grumpy, doesn't he? Can you see his face there? Very grumpy. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. Look! Doesn't even look like a bedroom anymore. I can even see the moon. Oh, look, his bedroom's door still there, though. And grew until the ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. That looks amazing. I would like to go there. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and the day. In and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. Look, it's a wild thing. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth, gnash your teeth. And they rolled their terrible eyes and they showed their terrible claws, shimmy your claws. Till Max said, be still. It worked and tamed them with a magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and they called him the most wild thing of all. They made him the king of all the wild things. Look, they're all bowing to him like they would to the king. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. What's a rumpus? Should we find out? <gasps> oh, look, it looks like a great party. That's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, a party with swinging. I love climbing trees, do you? Look, now it looks like they're doing piggyback races like a conga. I love that. Maybe you could do that with one of your teddies. Try and put it on your shoulders, see if you can stomp around. Now stop, said Max. And he sent the wild things off to bed. Without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely. He wanted to be where somebody loved him, best of all. Then, all around, from far away across the world, he smelt wonderful things to eat. So he gave up being king of the wild things, huh? But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. 
The wild things roared their terrible roars. Roar! And they gnashed their terrible teeth. And they rolled their terrible eyes. And they showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into the boat and he waved them goodbye. And they sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. But there it is. And it was still hot. That was a lovely story. Okay, see you really soon. Okay, bye.